Hey guys, welcome back. El Flaminga here, your coach of the Kubaru Crab Hammers. Uh, today we have our week six match of the RPDL um, Diamond Division. Uh, this week we're up against uh, Mr. Garden Hose and the Plymouth Pangoros. Um, they're coming in with a Mew, a Grimmsnarl, Palkia as they're restricted. Um, well, let me just get back to the website. Um, Arcanine, uh, Inteleon G-Max, Mamoswine, Riolu, Ribombi, Slowking Gala, Tangela, and Driftblim. Um, so, uh, with that in mind, let's have a look at the team I've come up with for this week. So, this is the team here. Um, gonna start with the, uh, Blastoise. Um, most of his kills have come from uh, Mamoswine. So with that in mind, we're running a White Herb Blastoise. Um, this is to fake the Shell Smash. Um, we're actually running a physical Blastoise this week uh, with max HP, um, a little bit of speed. Can't remember what that's to outspeed. Um, and then uh, the rest dumped into attack. Um, we're running fake out. Flip turn, iron tail, and body press. Um, so if I max this, I can get my max cannonade off and get a couple iron um, max steel spikes off or max knuckles to boost my attack or defense. And then when I'm out of it, I can just use my my best attack, which is probably going to be that body press. Um, I've got flip turn there because I've got mm, lots of mons that I can cycle in and out this week. Um, we're going offensive Bronzong as well, because Bronzong does really good into most of his teams. I think it's non-stab, dark, and um, ghost moves mainly, and then there's also the Arcanine that can hit a fire move off into it. Uh, so we're rocking the weakness policy with no way to proc it other than the Stray Snarl or, or Heat Wave or something like that. Oh, actually, no, we do have a way to proc it. We'll, we'll see that in a tick. Um, so I'm running uh, quite a bit of a tax investment, a lot of HP investment, and um, the rest in defense, because um, I want to be quite bulky and be able to get big body presses off. So running Body Press, Iron Head, Earthquake, and Trick Room this week. Um, with that, I have uh, the Life Orb Rotom, running max special attack, enough speed to uh, outspeed the Mamoswine. Um, and then the rest dumped into HP. Um, oh, wait, no, it is a HP friendly number. Uh, sorry, a life orb friendly number. And then um, a little bit in spadef and the rest dumped into defense. Um, running protect, overheat, vol switch, and dark pulse. So getting more of that cycling in and out. Um, our next mon is the Zamazenta going um, quite uh, defensive this week. So running max HP. Enough speed to outspeed the Inteleon and get some snarls off. And then um, four in attack, four in spadef, and the rest dump into defense, um, which just helps me take, take those max quakes a bit better at um, that plus one with the Dauntless Shield. Uh, running Iron Head to get the big Behemoth Bash off, Psychic Fangs to um, break uh, Reflect and Light Screen from that Grim Snarl. Snarl to drop... Um, a special attack on the Palkia and Inteleon, and then coaching to help the uh, Serena, the Bronzong, and the Blastoise. Um, all right, next we have Clefairy uh, running um, a lot of defense and a lot of HP with um, a little bit in spadef. Uh, we're running Standard Protect, Follow Me Helping Hand, and Mystical Fire. Mystical Fire to get special attack drops, but also proc. Bronzong's weakness policy. Um, so that one's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, we have the Serena with the Choice Scarf this week. Um, running max attack, enough speed to outspeed the Inteleon by one. Uh, the Zamazenta outspeeds the Inteleon by two, which lets me get coachings off onto this before I use whatever attack I want to. Running Power Whip, because at plus one, I can Oko um, a max Inteleon. U-turn to get more of that cycling in and out. Uh, play rough because um, initially I didn't have Serena in the team, but I felt like I was disrespecting the potential Inteleon-Palkia combo. So 
Um, I brought Serena in because I felt that she could deal uh, quite well with that. And then I got Trop Kick for a bit more stat control uh, that drops the attack of the opponent by one. Um, and so that's my team. I'll get in um, contact with, um, what is it, Mr. Garden Hose, and we will connect up and get started. All right, so we're linked up with uh, Mr. Garden Hose. Let's get my book out. Now, we're not doing too well in this league. Um, yeah, so I think I have to win every single match from now on to even have a look into the finals. Um, but I've got a lot of the hard opponents out of the way, um, being uh, Loaf from the uh, two weather teams. All right. So, he hasn't brought Mammoth Swine. He's brought uh, Inteleon. Uh, Grimmsnarl, Riolu, Mew, Arcanine, Inteleon, and Tangela. Um, so, might go Bell and Tinker first. We're going to go the... Um, or I could go Apollo. Hold on, let's think about this. Hmm. How do we go Apollo and Queen T? That way I can kind of um, cycle in and out. We'll go Leonardo. And then we will close up with, we want Brave Little Toaster. He seemed pretty good. Yeah, I think we'll go that. Let's give this a red hot crack. So good luck to uh, Mr. Garden Hose. Game one. Let's see what he's leading. <laughs> Grim and Riola. Okay. I just want to get a big behemoth bash off here. And, um,. Maybe a trop kick. So what will, like the big chance Riolu's gonna coaching. Um, they can't do anything directly to me because I have the Serena. So they, if they wanna do something to me, they're gonna have to attack. So it's pretty much looking like coaching and Grimmsnarl attacking. Grimmsnarl could have a fighting attack or fire punch. Um, so I think I'll just go this to start with. We'll get some big damage off. Um, yep, Max and Grim. So maybe it's weakness policy, Grim. At least then I can um, get a. Uh, we'll see what attack. He might be going a bullet punch into Grim with a frisk. Uh, not a frisk. A um, pickpocket to steal Riolu's item. Bullet punch, yep. Okay, so it's going to be at the end of this turn. Like, Iron Bash, uh, Behemoth Bash is such a big attack. <laughs> Zama. Ooh. KO. Grim. Grim's got a weakness policy. Yolu's got bullet punch. Okay. So we still haven't revealed that we are um, Choice Scarf yet. Um, so we might go um, coaching into... What's happened to my controller? Right, fight, coaching into Queen T, yep. And then 
We might Dynamax and Max Flutterby into this Tangler. We've got Tang. Plus one, probably won't KO, but at least I'll get some good damage off. And it's definitely KOing next turn, I reckon. Get a special attack drop in case it wants to go Sludge Bomb. Maybe he's going to fire off a um, Overheat, uh, not Overheat, a Sunny Day to get Chlorophyll going. Rage Powder. Huh. So still haven't revealed that I'm Scar. Alright. And Serena KOs Tangela. We know Tangela's got Rage out. Rock Slide. Hmm. Alright, so I'm just going to go coaching again. Let's get the Arc. So I really don't have anything to hit Arcanine with my uh, Serena. Intellia. Oh. oh no. Oh no 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 no. <laughs> um. I just go Snarl, get some chip off, and break any focus, potential focus sash. And then um, we'll go, uh, which one's the stronger? 140, 120? We'll go the 140 max overgrowth and put Intellia on. Don't freeze. Thank you. That snarl was good. Reduce that damage. Serena. KO Inteleon. Anything, we'll go Behemoth Bash and Max Overgrowth. Okay, we revealed something. Okay, so Zama KOs uh, Triolu. I need that Teleon with Blizzard. Right, what two months did he have in the back there? He had Mew. And um, Arcanine, didn't he? Mew and Arcanine. So how are we going to combat that? Because I think Arc has to come out the front this time. Yes, I will take your card. Play with the same rules. So I think I'll go... May, uh, probably the same team, but let's go the... Um, The battle begin. Okay, let's go the. Um, so we'll go the same, but we'll go. We'll lead Apollo this time. We'll lead Zama and Leonardo, um, and then I think we'll still bring Queen T and um, Brave Little Toaster in the back. I think that might be our best shot. Game two, like he's got to bring Ark. Um, He'll activate my white herb, hopefully think that I'm about to go shell smash. Um, but I'll just fire off a fake out um, and a coaching. And then I'll do another coaching and, and max cannonade. And start getting some steel spikes off um, and go from there. I think that should be that should be the go this time. Only thing that's gonna suck is um, uh, 
uh, potential sleep or rage powders from um, uh, Tangler. New and Arcane Idol. Okay, we thought we thought one of them were coming. So beat up. So let's get a coaching off and um, a fake out onto the the Mew. So Art and Mew. Let's go coaching again. We're gonna go Max Cannonade into the Arcanine. He's got Scarf Mew. Mew is Scarf. So I'm expecting Zama to go down this turn, but that's okay because I have a um a very charged Blastoise. Blastoise. So this should be a KO. Plus two, super effective. Cool. So blast. KO. Arc. And now all this Mew can do is beat up. So I don't really care about it. So let's just attack into whatever else is there. Grim Snow. I think we know how this is going to end. So we're going to go Behemoth Bash, and we're going to go um, Max Knuckle. The reason I'm going Max Knuckle is if he protects now, trying to draw in the um, maybe a, a Max Super Effective attack onto him, uh, it's not going to work, and we'll um, at least be now plus three in attack. And the cannonade is still just tipping away. And even think about you getting beat up. Bloody thing learns everything. Busted! Oh, he's maxing Mew! Oh, what is going on? What is life? Attacking into him next turn. And Zama. KO Grim. Mindstorm. What did my blast twice ever do to you, bro? Okay, so um, we're going to uh, double. We're going to Behemoth Bash into the Mewtwo.
Cannonade. The Cannonade and Volcalith and, you know, Wildfire and Vine Lash is just so busted. Okay, so we're going to Behemoth Bash at plus one into the Mew, and we're going to um, Max Canoogle. Just cannonade into the Riolu. And Zama. KO's Mew. Do not think the crit mattered. I was at plus one. And that is a effectively a base 300 attack going into it. I think Blast the KO yep, Riolu which had the Focus Sash Rock Slide Alright um, so I was meant, uh, originally meant to uh, face an opponent, opponent called Niels but Niels um, uh, couldn't battle oh, he pulled out of the competition so Good on uh, Mr. Garden Hose for coming in um, and taking over his team. He had to use the same team this week, uh, but next week uh, he gets unlimited trades to come up with the team that he wants. So um, I wish him the best of luck for the rest of the season, and hopefully he can get get some wins under his belt uh, with a new team that he's created. Uh, so what else is happening this week? Oh, I've been in another draft. Um, let's have a look at... So I've joined a singles draft. I think I mentioned that. Um, but let me bring it up. Uh, this one. Okay, so this is my um, the team I have drafted so far. Um, still got a few more picks to go. Um, I started with uh, Cresselia, uh, Celesteela, sorry, because I wanted um, something that is versatile um, and could offer me uh, offense and defense. So I just started with Celestealer because it was a solid pick. Uh, next I went Quillfish because it's Quillfish. Uh, I didn't want it to get, I wanted to get Quillfish so I made sure it was my second pick. Um, I then wanted to get uh, Cantonian Dug Trio but that got sniped um, from me by uh, someone else. So I picked up Latias to give me another offensive option. Um, and then I needed to replace my ground type so I ended up going with uh, Sandaconda which is in my RPDL team. Um, then wanted a fire type to start the fire water grass core. So I went back to ye old faithful Rotom Heat um, just because I needed something that I could uh, vault switch or U-turn with. I didn't have much of that at the moment. Um, then uh, everyone was gunning for Thwacky uh, because Rillaboom went early and so did um, Tapu Bulu. So I'm like, oh, well, I'm gonna get on top of Thwacky. So I picked up Thwacky for two points, uh, which I think is a bargain. Um, and so that completes my uh, Firewater Grass core. I've started to get my Steel Dragon Fairy core, which is Gardevoir as well. Um, Gardevoir is real nice in singles. It's got lots of um, uh, support options that it can run, um, but it's also got lots of uh, offensive coverage as well. Um, then I found I had lots of uh, like dark and ghost weaknesses, so I picked up Beware since it is immune to one and it resists the other. Um, so immune to ghost, resist dark, so I felt that was a good um, put on my team. Then I wanted another option, so I picked up Drapion, um, which gives me two poison types now, but they're my only weaknesses to uh, ground are my two poison types, my steel types immune, uh, my road and my fire type and electric type is immune. Um, so I've still got two more picks to go. Um, I won't reveal what they are just yet, but uh, looking at a rapid spinner and a spin blocker um, for my last mons. Um, so yeah, this is starting to come along quite nicely. Um, I can't wait to, to give singles a go. Haven't really done it before, so it should be pretty interesting. Um, and if anything, it's going to help me in the future. Um, so anyway, ending it there, that was a good win. I needed to get a win under my belt. Um, 
I've lost three in a row. So one, two, lost three, now I've won one. Hopefully I can win the next two and that will give me um, a good shot into the playoffs. So thanks for watching guys and um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Comment, subscribe, call me a dickhead, like, share with your friends. Um, have a good one.